Okay, hey everyone. I uh, want to do a quick update on the hinge installation. There's a part one uh, of this on my channel. If you haven't seen it, we'll put a link in there. But I have finished the, uh, the hinge installation, so here it is. Um, I had another video on my roll cage installation, so the hinges are now securely mounted to the roll cage. And um, they're very, very solid. I'll cut away here and show some still photos and some of the details and then we'll come back and we'll sort of zoom in and uh, see what this looks like a little bit closer. Okay, so here you can see the front roll cage tube out of the car. I've got it uh, in a vise on a bench. I've just finished welding the uh, hinge brackets to these split collars that I uh, that I bought. Uh, bent up a 316 plate, uh, one for each uh, hinge section there. and. Uh, welded to the collar which is uh, bolted to the tube and then bolted to the uh, hinge pocket itself um, to make a nice rigid um, connection there and then these are the, the wooden spaces of course you see got a little chard there because i welded it was on the car to get the position exactly right so once you get re-sanded and um, and reinstalled uh, they kind of fit pretty snugly on there and so the hinge assembly gets bolted to that uh, wooden spacer and that'll end up getting bonded into the into the car which I'll show um, in, in a second here and then here is the um, the bar back in the car with the hinges um, welded on there and installed and this is how it actually fits in place all right so here's the hinges up close you can see how they swivel out and they're very solid um, this feature of this hinge has a tube here that runs right through on top of the hinge to the inside. So if you're going to run power windows or speaker wires, you can put them right there. There's also an adjustment screw here for a stop to get them stopped right where you want. Now notice the pins here go to the inside of the hinge so there's room to uh, pull them out. But you have to have room for the nut in the top there to make sure you can uh, get at it both top and bottom you got to get these as close as you can to the outside skin of the body which you can see here I don't have the nut on the bottom one but I have tested it and I can put that in there um, you know again these are the this is the original body this is the Kusa stiffener and this is the double and it's actually cedar wood cedar decking board uh, laminated and adhered together with um, epoxy more as, more as a filler and a spacer during setup but I will leave it in there and these are all going to get bonded and screwed together uh, so this will be very very solid after uh, the doors are done this area in here will get filled in um, with an edge and a step for weather stripping for the door regarding the door um, the top hinge works really well. I can get maybe 75, 80 degrees of opening. The bottom one, not so much. So I think the plan is going to be to, uh, when I get the door mounted, and here's the door, is I will um, bind it on there and then recontour the opening to come down a little bit wider this way so I can open that door further uh, I, don't, I don't like how this door is only going to open sort of that much right now but that is uh, how you install these hidden hinges and, or how I install them on a fiberglass car that doesn't have any steel here that you can weld to um, I think this is going to be very very solid um, moving on to doing the uh, the doors and that is going to be a whole other project in itself. So stay tuned for more videos on that, maybe over the winter. Take care. Thanks for watching.